Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is John, let's jump right into this. So, um, as you all may imagine, I'm still sick. Slightly recovering though, but uh, the last time I played was like two days ago. Recorded an hour, so that was like, I don't know, three videos. Or like two hours. Yeah, I think that was like two hours. So those went up for the past two days and just took a day off slowly recovering but it just doesn't feel like anything is honestly happening I know it is Whoa, I'm pretty sure there are people here that, just, that not yeah okay anyway welcome back uh, thanks for sitting through the ads I really do appreciate it you guys are fantastic you guys return almost every day watching my stuff it's always awesome um, yeah, so we left off on the unsafe haven message, or quest, and we just, like, got out of that door, and then I felt like I was going to die last time, so I had to take a break. Now we're back. Um, hopefully I don't pass out or anything while I'm here. That would be bad. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. I don't want to aggro those things, but I feel like I already did. Oh my god. I just like turn around and there's so much shit behind me. I'm dead! No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. So, we gotta go up here. Also, thanks for all the likes and all the support on the videos lately. It's pretty, pretty awesome have all that support um, yeah so a couple things I wanted to talk about in the near future is upcoming games for January and while well, most of it starts on the 20th um, there might be some indie games that come out and I might look at them but yeah I have a little list I will start it off with January 20 which the game that comes out then is Blackguards 2 um, I did a couple parts of Blackguards 1 previously. It's kind of like a... How do I... G RPG kind of game, except it's um, like moving on tiles and... Kind of a turn-based game, but that's okay. It's pretty fun from what I've played, so... Hopefully I will get a chance to cover that. So many zombies, what the fuck? I'm trying to Cuba and I'm just like hitting everything. Just keep respawning those zombies. So I gotta kill the necromancers. They're not strong at all, but I'm gonna die. But yeah, from if anyone who still plays ESO like regularly and like better in rank six or higher, I know you're supposed to get like one VR level per like zone. I'm getting like 40% and that's doing most of the main stories just because I'm playing solo most of the time. I can't actually do the anchors and bosses. That's uh, unfortunate. Today might be a questionable day. I am not hitting my Q button. Oh, rip. So. Well. I don't even know what to say to that. It's just like, what? Sure. Greetings, my friend. You did it. The undead fell in their tracks. The pirates, they surrendered or fled. A good day. They won't tell me. That means it's bad, isn't it? I'm going to die. <laughs> I see. Strange. I thought I would fear this moment, a 
but instead I'm filled with pride that I could fight beside the speaker for the main. And beside you. Lord Gareshri isn't around, is he? No. He rallies the people of Haven against the pirates. Please, do not distract him with my fate. If I die from wounds justly earned, I'll greet my ancestors with honor. Tell the speaker it was an honor to serve him. This is becoming very upsetting. Okay. This so, on watch many hours. We where are you? Me. What the fuck? Are you really? Wait. For Rizzy, do I have to go all the way down there? There's a tavern, and oh, that's. What do you sell? Rakiza. My inventory is almost full. I gotta clear that out. There's a lot of stuff that um, I'm just gotta disenchant soon. So after we finish up this quest, we're gonna go back to town, put some stuff in the storage, and what else? Wait, unless there's a like a blacksmith right here. This place actually does look really nice. But yeah, for all of you waiting for the console version to come out, don't worry, I'm with you there. I'm waiting for it too. Don't know which one I'll be getting it on, but I am quite excited to see how it goes. E. Can we get 37? Probably not. Pretty close, though. <clears throat> they took the keep, certainly, but they had no chance, really. The Dominion will suffer no injury. I gotta make sure to keep this one. It's actually good. Um, one-handed mace that's... I actually should keep these weapons, though. Working. Yep, get rid of all this garbage in my inventory. Wait, what is my current shield? Um, connoisseur. Add five minutes to the duration of any consumed drink. I should probably get that. I think that works, right? For, um, food? Wait, let me just double check real quick. That might be good. I should probably get one of those. <coughs> I don't really, it doesn't tell you it's like 20 meters, what is it now, like 10 meters? I have no idea, but that's okay. Clothing. Uh, wait, that goes under chanting. I don't know why. These are like medium, I need blacksmith. Might as well get this, right? Like, I really have nothing else to put 24 skill points in. I don't... It's not really useful, but... Nah, fuck it. I don't want to. <laughs> it's so weird. Regents? Those are... Oh, okay. That's maxed. Uh, those cost too much.
These are always good to get when I have them. Heavy is maxed. On my secondary, I was thinking about getting um, a re, re restoration staff just because or just like putting it on there so I could heal quicker. I might do that actually. So this one's at 43. I pretty much have everything I want there. <coughs> okay, so let's see how clear our inventory is. Not really, we got a lot of junk. I knew you'd done it the moment those undead fell to tatters. Half of the pirates surrendered on the spot. They must have thought whatever you did to the undead would happen to them next. This means three things. First, you were instrumental in crashing the pirate invasion of Haven. Second, the Dominion's leadership owes you a debt of thanks. And third, I am privileged to be the one who pays it. An honor to fight beside you. I'd like to know why General Andare pulled her Jade Dragoons from Haven. Their absence nearly led to the Jackdaw's success. But the last I saw, she was carving her way through undead warriors. How bad is it? Nonsense. I'll send for Mage's Guild healers to treat her immediately. Don't you worry about Lieutenant Kazarki. She fought like she was born with six claws. There is no way she'll go without a fight. Wow. Alright, so we got that one done. And where is the store? That's a store, right? Nine months of playing this game is like very unclear because like Hello. all the what is it? People, I guess. Or like the stores and stuff, they have they're all bunched up in different icons. But I knew this place would be nice once it was actually cleared up. <laughs> I've no idea where the merchant is. You? Always be careful with my. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I actually need those. Let me see. Creating layer. Cold fishy sticks. I want another... How long would this last me? Quite a while, actually. This is so easy to find. You just... Get more later. Sorry if you hear me sniffling and all that stuff. It's quite disturbing, I know. Why is the... Oh my god, the bank is like all the way on the other side. God. Why, game? Why? Alright. <clears throat> oh. Well, time to close that. Hail. Oh, not that way. I wish they would level up your, uh, or the increase the max level for your horse. Because apparently 50 is good. But one thing, if I were to add something, increase the level of your horse to like 100, and make it fix it so your horse can possibly jump higher, that would be amazing. Because this horse can't jump for shit. And. I would. Do I really have to? Oh my god. This town is very weird. I thought I could just cut through it. Apparently, you have to go all the way around. 
I also want that um, on this stone. I want to see what it is. Am I going the right way now? No. Well, shit. Can I cross some? Yeah, you know, I don't even care anymore. We're just gonna... Uh, where was it? Show on the map. Yeah. About that. This is a huge as the area. I want to get that Munda stone. I don't know where to go though. I'm gonna assume it's out. Go out this way. I think, if I remember correctly, that Munda stone is like on the top of a mountain somewhere. And I probably skipped it on purpose because I had no idea how to get to it. But we're about to find that out today. We're going to get it if it's the last thing I do. Hopefully we don't get attacked by bears. That's yeah. always a good thing. <laughs> um, also, yeah. If you're watching this on Sunday when I'm recording this, the Awesome Games Done Quick thingy on Twitch is live and it's actually really interesting. You should go check that out. Just watching speedruns for a good cause. It's always awesome. Yeah. I actually watched the first one today. It was the Donkey Kong one is really well done. <laughs> Alright, so why is it so far away? And oh that's a bat. Do not disturb. Thought there was like a hidden cave from yeah. there. Wait, before I do this, can I get back up if I jump? Yeah, I can. Okay. Sweet Breeze Cottage. Is there any... Oh. You're just... There. Hey, it's that, like... It's Grumpy Cat. There's really nothing here. It was just kind of... Discover it at your own free time. <coughs> so now that we got that... There was a quest up here I wanted to get. Oh man, is it in the ruins again? I hate those. This is so boring. Trust me, Fiendil. Magical transport. Tread carefully. An army is massing under our feet. I don't know how this happened. Somehow the Covenant has managed to fill this ruin with troops. And more seem to be arriving as if out of thin air. It must be magic. No other explanation. This is the only entrance or exit to the ruin. The Red Guards must be using a portal to enter the ruin. They probably thought they could avoid detection until they had a force big enough to attack. If there's a portal, and I'll eat my armor if there isn't, we need to seal it before reinforcements arrive. A lone scout will have an easier time than a full force. We don't have the numbers to face them head on anyway. I appreciate it. Take this wand. And use it to disrupt the portal. Be careful, though. Don't try to fight everybody. It'll be a waste if you die before closing that portal. Yes. Probably would. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so... I forgot. I'm gonna have to switch that mission up to uh, focus on it. So as of right now, I'm in the process of building a new PC and hopefully it would be good enough to like stream and obviously render things faster because a lot of 
games are now 1080p 60 and does it take a long time to render those videos? So, uh, before we do anything, I want to check. I need to level up my Dawn's Wrath, so what ability should I put on here? Well, I mean, I have two of them. <coughs> and... Solar Barrage. Man, those cost so much. I did PvP once, and this just does not stop. Backlash. Man, this thing takes so long to cast. It's like not even worth using. All these all these abilities in Dawn's Wrath kind of suck. Except for, obviously, the ultimate is pretty good. And, I don't know. That's why I don't see any other people using it at all. <laughs> I had to mute my mic there. Left or right? I don't know. I think I'll go this way. To get this to level 50 faster, so I never have to use it again. To the side. This does no damage. Do I have to be like in their face for it to work? And then, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just dying by doing that. Not a good set of abilities to be using. That plant looks kind of real. So, is there any other games you guys would like to see me try out? Because I have another two weeks, and yeah, that's always interesting. Preferably something I could beat in two weeks before the rush of games come out in late January. That would be awesome. Me. No, he's dead. 